Community activists from all over the country met at the Louisiana governor's mansion on Saturday to demand justice for Kawan Charles, a 15-year-old African-American boy recently found dead under mysterious circumstances. News Nation reporter Elise Corville has the story. We're sick and tired of being sick and tired. We demand justice. Yes. We will not stop until there is justice. That's right. Under gray skies at the front gate of the Louisiana governor's mansion stood the family of 15 year old Kawan Charles with community activists from across the nation. No justice, no, no peace. peace, no justice, no peace. Say his name, Kawan Charles. Say his name, Kawan Charles. And we're not finished. We will get justice. Yeah. Yeah. Because I didn't come all the way from Texas to not get justice. Yeah. Somebody is going to be arrested yeah. and they're going to be arrested very soon. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to go nowhere until it's done. Right. We got everybody out here ten toes down for this family because we believe that peace demands justice. Yes, yes. If they want us to stop protesting, then they need to stop killing us. Yes. Emotions ran high as each community group spoke about the lives of Kawan Charles and Trafer Pellerin, who was shot and killed by Lafayette police this summer. Each group vowed to stay together, vowed to stand with other groups until they say there is a change and a movement. We have to continue to stand. Yes. And we have to continue to stand together. We all might not take the microphone, but we're here. That's right. We might not all look alike, but we're here. Yes. We all might not be lawyers, but we're here. Right. We're brothers, we're sisters, we're cousins, we're family. In Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Elise Corville, News Nation.